Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Back, getting his hands on the NAR, it's a good look for him. Likes to play those more carry-oriented styles, even if he can be the tank for the team. Waiting so long, but G2 are meanwhile making a play on the top side. Trick is here, Perks is here, they have the point click CC. They can't keep this going, Maganar's on the way, but I don't even think they're going to need it. They are burning through Letney, but the healing is coming in. The double jump coming out, and that's gonna be first blood, but it's traded back. Meanwhile, into bottom lane, MOG just back. Send the duo lanes to the top lane, but probably going to be a dead turret to dive. Keeping forward, has the level six. Expect is now in trouble. He's just going to go down. No reason to contest there, but Perks is running into the mix as well. Gets the flash out. Tower knock. No cleanse effects to get him out to safety if he needs it. Emma in lane. Looking to start. He does manage to land it on his Fen. Fen is not out yet. He's leaping to safety. He gets cut down midair. Nice pick off by RNG. They will turn onto the Rift Tower. They will not lose them. That from RNG's side. Giving G2 control of mid. No, oh, I didn't want to fight again. Twitch. Looking to get it started. Maokai moving in. That could be the pick that they need. Goodbye to Sven. RNG take control in the mid lane. And again, the creativity. Oh, Way surprise them. They're actually going for a fight instead. Burks moving in. Looking to pick off MLXG. He's quite tanky. The whole team is here. Ready to find a pick onto the jungle. This could be the Baron, but he's going to make it out. Now they're Uzi. trying to turn it. Uzi on the backside. The assassin switch. Expect has something to say, but he's already out of the fight. He's been knocked back. That is a massive win coming in for RNG. Perks firing back for the side of G2, but with Sven already dead, there's not a lot of options left. Uzi's cleaning up house. He's looking for a triple, but Xiao was the one to bring it home. One of the first times we've seen everything falls apart. And we haven't seen this too that often. Oh, G2 straight on Baron. MLXG 3K drop, and the ulti is going to go in. Who's going to take it out in the end? G2's going to get it, and they get out with style. Well, Quick that, call. That's a different one. doesn't even need it. Is going to get healed up by the Redemption, but the ultimate not available for Uzi yet. It is, however, on the way. Expect if he gets locked down before he can go Mega. Could be everything. MLSG takes so much damage. Meganar leaping in. Who can he throw back? It's Uzi into the wall. That's a three-man. Not going to be able to find much else. Fargo is going to play activated. It's been free hitting onto the backside. Uzi going off where he can, but G2 is cleaning oh, up the rest no. of his team. He's been zoned out of the fight. GA proc for Zhao. Let me doing what he can. Expect to be forward. Mini Nar is on the way. Locked up. Zhao trying to turn it back onto Mithy. Perks not going down yet. Uzi is alive at full health, though. He has returned to the fight. He has now. RNG has to back off. He's waiting for the he launch. He's trying to turn it. Double kill coming in from Sven. He's going to back off as well. Both 80 carries living through the fight. Also get the Elder Drake. It's a big turnaround for them. Still a minute and 20 seconds left on Baron. Four stack Elder Drake. 100. Well, it's his ulti. Talk about it after. Baron has started. Let me come from behind. The MLXG is here. He's been done on the front line. Gavin dishing out as much damage as he possibly can. Leaps to the pit. Redemption is there to back him up. Baron is dropping, but no one is taking it. They're backing off. Uzi's going in. Expect needs to go mega, but it's too little too late. Uzi is cutting through G2. Expect finally going to knock Uzi into the wall, but it does not matter. Perks get out for free, but it's G2 who pay the price. It's not a Penta, but it feels like one that crowd knows. Might not even need the minion wave to close this one out, but they've got one just in case. It was a rough early game. G2 outmaneuvering them around the map, but they did not lose hope or focus. RNG reminding people why they are the representatives from China, showing us exactly what they can do and cleaning up their week with a 3-0 performance. This is a Royal Never Give Up unlike no other. Smart macro, game winners in multiple positions and in a meta where you shield an AD carry. One oh, yes. of the greatest to ever hit the rift. Wuhan explodes, Royal Never Give Up, 3-0 up and looking outstanding. They just wanted to get to late game. They just wanted Uzi to get three items. They didn't care about the armor stacking on some of the G2 members. They knew Uzi would find the correct positioning to hit everyone. People talk about bold predictions. People tweet them out. I don't think anyone would have said that RNG would be played better team League of Legends. I'm not talking about sick.